Now, with extended life expectancy, retirement may mark the beginning of a, a brand new chapter in our lives. Uh, oh Jung-hee shows us how retirees in Korea are seeking out various activities and taking on jobs and explain why it's important to stay just as active in your twilight years. What do we do after retiring? With people living longer and longer, that's become a big question addressed in all kinds of material. Publishers have been turning out books on the subject for ordinary people who want to know how to keep developing themselves after leaving the workforce. As you can see, books about post-retirement life fill the entire corner of this bookstore, reflecting people's growing interest in mapping out a new chapter in their lives. Korea is no longer just an aging society, it's becoming an aged society. Figures from the Interior Ministry show people aged 65 and older account for 13.8 percent of the whole population, which is why nation-level efforts are needed to help keep senior citizens active in society. This week, a fair was held in Seoul all about post-retirement life. Dozens of booths offered consulting services divided into four key topics, life planning, financial management, job hunting and social activities. They say our lifespans are getting longer. It would be meaningless to do nothing for 30 more years. I'm hoping to get a job as a way to be a participating member of society. The event was organized by a Seoul-based foundation that offers educational programs for people around retirement age, courses on technical skills for a new job, and chances to develop hobbies or donate one's talent. The foundation says the fact we're living longer requires a different perspective. Being in your 60s or 70s now is quite different from the past. Now we retire when we're about 53 and live 30 or 40 years more. So working or participating in social activities should be a part of that. You have to do something that gives you a sense of meaning and belonging, not just a paycheck. Some retirees meet in small groups to just hang out and share knowledge. They're students of Beautiful Life School, an academy run by Peng Man Gi, an ordinary citizen. It offers several classes on art and culture, language, fitness and finance. And these students gather once a week to study cultural or historical sites in Seoul and visit them. After retiring, I once did a volunteer activity at a cultural center in my neighborhood, and the only thing they gave me to do was to glue papers or show the way to visitors. But as elderly people, we have wisdom and life experience. I wanted to create a platform where senior citizens can come and share all that. I wanted to spend quality time, so decided to come here. I've become quite active visiting various sites in Seoul. I wasn't able to really make it happen before. According to researchers at Korea University, retired individuals report they feel 5 percent less satisfied with life, and they feel almost 20 percent less healthy. A feeling that they're no longer participating in the labor market, a sense of losing social and economic roles, as well as the loss of earnings, all have a negative impact on retirees' health. Their satisfaction with life also drops due to a smaller social network and decreased economic activity. This shows it's better for senior citizens to stay active, but to do that, they may have to adopt a different view, mainly about how long we live and how we spend that time. First, people need to internalize that they're going to live until they're 100 years old. They all say they know it, but they actually don't. Then they'll need to develop skills for a lifelong job. We used to work at one place for a whole life and retiring meant the end of our career. But now, people need to find work that they can do until the end. Making sure a plan is in place is a responsibility for both individuals and society. While senior citizens need to seek out opportunities for themselves in their later years, there is also a need to create and offer them a range of opportunities. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.